Today, this is E.T. here, and I would like to discuss the complaint called tinnitus, which many of us and millions of people suffer from. Now, whether tinnitus can be controlled or uh, cured is a different, is a, a complex matter. But this I know for di from direct experience that I know that tinnitus is not as permanent as we often think it is because I suffered from tinnitus for many many years because I worked in every industry and listened to rock and roll music and what we all did and that damages the small airs in the inner ear and which is a part of the primary causes of the ongoing complaint of tinnitus. Now also, there are other uh, nervous reactions to the sound which sets it off in our head. So we focus on it and it gets worse. We, it amplifies, in other words, through the nervous system. Now, how this is relaxed out is, is people or doctors are prescribing uh, antidepressants and other sort of drugs which are actually not the right thing to, dis to prescribe. Yes, it gets people to relax but then just take a couple of sleeping pills instead because rather than take antidepressants which become addictive which to what's, in which it one suspects that's what doctors are about now the point I'm trying to why I'm putting this together is because I thought tinnitus was permanent till I went a few years ago quite a few years ago I went out into the deserts of Australia for the very first time I'd never been in a desert before when I drove right out into an isolated place called the Monday Monday Plains, which you can find on the map or Google it, I drove into the middle of these plains and I had a tent, but I didn't bother with a tent because it's so beautiful. Beautiful, perfectly flat plain. No one around for miles. I drove 10 kilometers into the plain. No one could see me. There was no one there. I put a mat down, 10 meters by 8 meter mat, so I, I sat somewhere so the insects don't get me, or whatever. And I slept there for three days. I just meditated and, and just relaxed and enjoyed the, the beauty of the peace and quiet of it. And lo and behold, I realised after a couple of days that I could only hear. I got a surprise when I rubbed my hands against my trousers and got startled by uh, how alarmingly noisy that was and I realized then that was the only sound I could hear and when I lay down at night time under the stars there was no tinnitus and I tears came to my eyes and I realized this was a, like an epiphany although tinnitus is a we are affected by tinnitus it then says what causes it but I had another incident a couple of years ago when I went out onto the ocean with a friend of mine and we went sailing for a few days. I'd never been sailing on the ocean before. But at the night time it was beautiful and dark and quiet. Way out from the land, no noises. Just total silence of the boat sailing through that dark sea. And lo and behold, I said to my friend Charlie, I said, Charlie, have you noticed? It's silent. My tinnitus has gone. Now, this doing it twice sort of alerted me to the fact that tinnitus is caused by the ongoing interaction we have with sounds that we may not be able to hear. And I suspect it's um, low frequency sound in fridges, in motor cars, or travel through awful long distances and travel through the earth itself um, that bring on people's uh, tinnitus. What can we do about this? Uh, that is up to scientists or people to look at that and people to examine that themselves. Now if you want relief from tinnitus for anyone who's really suffering from it what I suggest to you is try it. I can't guarantee that it will work, but all I can suggest is you go somewhere really quiet where there's no 
low frequency sounds. It's not going to the Yellowstone National Park because that's all low frequency sounds. Anywhere where there's volcanic action, anywhere where there's constant rumbling underneath of the earth because of tectonic plate reaction, all those things could be bringing on tinnitus because they are very low frequency sounds and they could be inadvertently affecting the reaction and causing to react and bring a tinnitus on. The other point is, the other uh, thing that we know is that 20% of people through evolution are more prone to be affected by low frequency sounds than others. It's just a matter of bad luck that you're born into a situation where low frequency sounds now we are surrounded by, even in a small village I live here in Australia, we are surrounded and bombarded constantly by low frequency sounds, motor cars idling, diesel motors, and they travel for miles and miles and miles, these sounds, and they set off your tinnitus. And I know this because if I got on my push bike from here and go out into the countryside, I go 10, 15 k's out on my push bike, then suddenly I've got this wonderful peace and my heart comes to rest and I've got relief from tinnitus and I go down the beach on a regular basis because I can get out into the water and suddenly your heart is at rest because tinnitus is cause of, of cause it's constant it causes a massive amount of stress on your heart and your emotion because it's an emotional effect that it has upon you which may affect all the many other aspects of your life. How you deal with low frequency sounds I'm not an expert on but I suspect that science can provide answers to this. But if low frequency sound are the hardest thing to cut out, very very difficult to do but it's something because tinnitus is such a chronic and amazingly one of the greatest environmental problems that is is low frequency sound and the causes of a massive amount of illness and stress and depression sexual dysfunction all sorts of things come from this one particular unnerving factor called tinnitus it's a massive arrangement of things because it disturbs your sleep if you have a disturbed sleep every night, obviously you're not waking, waking up with your metabolism and your physiology all in balance because you haven't replaced the serotonin into your, into your systems. So you're not as relaxed as you would be and this builds up. And this building up makes the tinnitus, accentuates the tinnitus and in time it gets worse. Now I'm suggesting that any scientists or doctors or these male clinics catch on to this video then they may take interest in what I'm saying and people who watch this may take interest in what I'm saying because what I know I can prove I'm it's not a joke to go out in the sea and suddenly realize it actually was deeply emotional to suddenly realize I have no tinnitus and to go out into the desert and realize I have no tinnitus, it's gone. That truck motor in my head is gone. And that was a, such an emotional thing to find release. I, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful experience. So I'm wondering, and some people might be incurable, but I'm thinking that many, many people out there can find relief from tinnitus by escaping somehow from low frequency sounds and maybe there's some sort of um, places maybe uh, society needs to design rooms specifically for sufferers to go to sleep to get or hotels or motels designed specifically that cut out low frequency sounds so you can go there to get relief from this and get rid of your depressions, your anxieties and all the other things what stem from this really serious disorder that and they talk about environmentalism, they talk about climate change this is one of the most serious environmental problems there is 
is low frequency sound and the effect of tinnitus it has on society. It breaks marriages up, it causes alcoholism, drug use, over prescription of uh, antidepressives and all sorts of problems and I think it's time society, powers that be and authorities looked at this from a different, I looked at environmentalism from a different perspective altogether other than just the thing about the climate because there's nothing you can do much you can do about the climate but there are some things that you can do something about and if more money was focused on this problem there'd be more peace in the world than there would focus in all the world's money on climates which just well we don't know what's going to happen with climate it could be a nice day anyway thank you very much and I mean this with all my heart Tinnitus is not a permanent complaint. It's brought on by low frequency sounds, what you can't hear. They're in the earth, they pass through the for miles, uh, depending on the sort of uh, ground you have, etc. Anyway, thank you very much for listening, if you have. And I mean this, I've done this out of uh, my heart, because I think it needs to be told. Thank you.